guys. For 75 cents a day, the price of a cup of coffee, you can help a abandoned grill have a new life at Trendkill Smoker Grill Rescue. <laughs> but here she is. The Santa Maria. 72 inches. I got some good plans for it. Stainless steel. Both grates. Stainless steel. Over here. I'm gonna put a brazero, so that way I got a nice thing. I'm gonna line it with fire brick over here. I'm gonna trim this down, I'm gonna box it out. That way I got a good uh, good spot to just start burning chunks, you know? Be able to uh, shovel my coal into this guy, to which I'm gonna be adding some coal doors. So I'm gonna do a, uh, a coal chute door here, and a coal chute door here, flip down, so that way I can just Shovel in, I don't have to worry about lifting my food up to toss more in, you know, move things around, that kind of stuff. Um, kind of like how the Lone Stars are, which is actually one that I was looking at. Um, and then also, I'm gonna do the inside like them as well. Um, let me show you this. This is actually spring driven, so I don't have to deal with locks. Crank her up, it stays. Crank her down. It stays, so I don't have to worry about locks, none of that stuff. It's all, it's all tension driven. So wherever you put it, she stays. So I got to clean out all the, all the ash and stuff. They had fire brick in here. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to build a great system. I'm going to cut a hole right here for ash clean out. Have a drop pan underneath it. Uh, that way, it provides a little airflow as well. I'll put a uh, dome chimney right here underneath the grate, and then this will all be grate sections right here. Uh, I'll do two over here and a single one over on this side. That way, as I'm using the Brazero, shovel all the hot coals in through the doors, I get oxygen in them coals to maximize it, you know? And this over here will be lined with fire brick, so that'll hold them coals, you know? I'll, I'll be able to have the best of both worlds. You know, it should be pretty damn nice. Um, then I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to switch these out. I want to put some cool uh, some cool wheel cranks on it, just for the simple fact that they look badass. You know what I mean? Um, and then of course redo the shelf. They did. Uh, looks like he had some kind of makeshift uh, cutting board in there, but that's going to change. And of course casters. You know I'm going to put some decent um, some decent polys on there. Nothing real big. Probably go five inch. Uh, you know. Things like that, so got to make a couple adjustments when I ring this rack up here. It actually is leaning, so um, got to make a couple of couple of uh, cable adjustments here. But they both move real nice. They both get down there too, nice, nice and close, man. I mean that thing would be you know further down than I would ever go. So we bring her up. Yeah, this is 72 inches by, I don't know, it's got to be close to 20, 30 inches. And again, with this guy here, all stainless, stainless racks on her. This is all just um, shave, you know, just build up from uh, stuff. I mean, it's, as for rust wise, it's all surface. So I checked her out pretty good. Just got back from Kansas picking her up. So I'm going to make it pretty. And I'm gonna make it super functional, man. It's it's gonna be awesome. So, um, not sure what I'm gonna do with the side shelf yet. I'm actually debating. I might actually put just uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try and kill it up, and I think it's gonna be really cool. So, should be super easy. I'm gonna just get her cleaned out today. Uh, we got spotty rain, so I can't work on my new uh, my new addition. I started it yesterday. Um, I added an additional eight foot by 12 foot off the back of the smoke sanctuary out there. That's pretty much going to be beast house. Um, that's its own bedroom back there. Um, I'm, it's going to be a metal lean to roof, um, all wood sides. I'm going to have all my lumber in there. So that way I can get rid of this in my garage, um, and be able to 
have a nice rack out there without having to, um, what's going on with this? Without having to uh, hump all my lumber around, you know, through the house, things like that, around the back and all that other stuff. So, and uh, then this guy is gonna go up against my one wall. So I'm making some changes out there, as usual. And, oh, look what else I picked up. Check this guy out. This thing was still in the box. I cut the banding straps off it yesterday. We got a accessory drawer and a full out fridge. I got it for a hundred bucks. Still in the box. Like I said, I cut the bands off it yesterday. So even if it was, even though it was Father's Day yesterday, I seen it, I'm like, do you still have it? They said, yes. I went and picked it up. Granite top. Uh, probably not going to be using that, but I am going to get that built in. So we'll have, we'll have uh, some refrigeration out there in the smoke sanctuary. But that was a weekend of deals, man. So my wife found this thing, um, this this Santa Maria. It was in uh, Stillwell, Kansas. Uh, so it was about a three and a half hour ride for me. But I've been looking. I've been looking for a few weeks now because I've, I've wanted one of these. And man, they're hard as hell to find. And then the ones that you do find, they want such ridiculous amount of money. I mean, for a, a 72 inch stainless steel grates, all this other stuff, we're talking Jeeps, you know? And it's like, I'm not doing that. So, 400 bucks. Probably gonna put about 150 into it. So we're probably looking at a total of 650 for a 72 inch Santa Maria with a Brazero on it. It's gonna be pretty badass. I'm, I'm super, super excited. We're gonna cook some meat on this guy. But other than that, that's about it. This is uh, another little trend kill project, but this one should be pretty easy. Um, the few, thing, few things that I wanna do, they should be pretty simple. Um, cutting in, it's actually decent steel. Looks to be about 3 16 So I'm gonna do, I ha already have all my expanded metal. I'm gonna get it all cleaned up wired down everything today, build out my plan, and then I'm gonna hit my metal store tomorrow. And I'm, I'm thinking two, three days, something like that. Uh, and she should be, uh, have a fire lit in her, and it should be pretty awesome, super excited. So, but anyway, I'll get back to more cooking. Uh, this last week was insane, crazy. So, um, this isn't gonna take too much of my time, and it's gonna be cool, really cool, so. That's about it, man. That's all I got. Uh, I don't know. We'll cook some shit. All right, later, guys.